set yourselves up for a huge catastrophe of momentous extents. Betelgeuse, the red beast star adjusted on the edge of our enormous framework, is passing unfavorable messages through the universe. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, cosmologists have uncovered something fundamentally troublesome about this incredible heavenly body. As famous astrophysicist Brian Cox gives a grave admonition, the question looms, are we near the precarious edge of witnessing a cosmic explosion that could forever change the night sky as we know it? Let us delve into this. In the grand tapestry of the universe, where stars are conceived, live, and die in dramatic fashion, one star has recently captured the imagination and concern of cosmologists and the public alike. This star is Betelgeuse, a red supergiant of massive extents and mature age, unmistakably situated in the Orion constellation. Its distinctive reddish hue and variable brightness have long been a source of interest. However, recent developments have heightened attention toward this celestial giant. As we explore the nature of Betelgeuse, we find ourselves on the cusp of a potentially spectacular event in the life cycle of the star. But what might these changes mean? Are we witnessing the prelude to a cosmic display of unimaginable scale? Betelgeuse, roughly 1,000 times larger than our sun, is a celestial behemoth. Its massive size is almost beyond human comprehension. Imagine a star so enormous that, if it were to replace our sun, its surface would extend beyond the orbit of Mars, engulfing Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars within its celestial embrace. This extraordinary size is not only a testament to Betelgeuse's physical characteristics but also marks its stage in the stellar life cycle. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is in the twilight of its existence, a phase characterized by expansion and cooling after a life spent fusing hydrogen into helium at its core. The age of Betelgeuse, believed to be around 8 to 8.5 million years, is relatively young in human terms but ancient concerning stellar lifetimes. Its current red supergiant phase marks the end of millions of years of stellar evolution, a period of dramatic changes that transformed it from a hot blue star to the red giant we observe today. The life cycle of stars like Betelgeuse is a story of transformation driven by the relentless forces of nuclear fusion and gravity. Betelgeuse's distinctive reddish tint is another indicator of its current stage. The red color results from its relatively cooler surface temperature compared to other stars, like our Sun. While the Sun's surface temperature is around 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse's cooler surface measures about 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature allows Betelgeuse to emit light at wavelengths that give it a red appearance. This hue is not merely a visual characteristic, but a clue to the star's physical state and the processes occurring within its vast gaseous expanse. Adding to Betelgeuse's mystique is its historical color change. Ancient Roman and Chinese texts suggest that nearly 2,000 years ago, Betelgeuse was yellow. It was only in the 9th century that Arabic astronomers first described it as red. This color shift over human history is not a mere detail in the annals of cosmology, but a hint at the star's evolutionary path. The variable brightness of Betelgeuse is another fascinating aspect. As a semi-regular variable star, its light periodically fluctuates. This fluctuation is a characteristic dance of luminosity that has captivated astronomers and sky watchers for centuries. Typically, Betelgeuse undergoes a 400-day cycle along with a longer cycle stretching around five years. These cycles were documented as far back as 1836 by Sir John Herschel and possibly even earlier in indigenous oral traditions. However, what makes Betelgeuse truly enigmatic is its unpredictability. Unlike many stars that follow predictable patterns, Betelgeuse irregularly deviates from its rhythmic dimming and brightening, suggesting complex and less understood processes occurring within its massive structure. A recent striking discovery brought Betelgeuse into the spotlight. The star captured the attention of astronomers worldwide with an unexpected and dramatic change in its appearance, an event now known as the Great Dimming. In late 2019, Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars in the night sky and a prominent feature of the Orion constellation, began to mysteriously fade. The dimming was so pronounced that it lost its brilliance at an average rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day, reaching its lowest brightness in February 2020. Typically visible to the naked eye, even in light-polluted areas, Betelgeuse became significantly fainter, a change noticeable even to amateur observers. However, there is one challenge in monitoring Betelgeuse's activities, the time conundrum. When we observe a star like Betelgeuse, we are not seeing it as it exists today but as it was in the past, due to the time it takes for light to travel to us. In the case of Betelgeuse, approximately 725 light-years away, 
the light we see today left the star nearly 725 years ago. This delay makes it challenging to predict and monitor sudden changes in a star's behavior, as we are essentially observing its past. The dimming event served as a reminder of the inherent difficulties in real-time astronomical observation and the limitations of our understanding when dealing with the vast cosmic scales and time distortions they present. The unfolding drama of Betelgeuse was closely monitored by Andrea Dupree, associate director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian, and her team. They used the Hubble Space Telescope to study the behemoth star as part of a three-year project to observe variations in Betelgeuse's outer environment. These observations provided unique insights into the dynamics of a variable star like Betelgeuse, which regularly expands and contracts, causing changes in brightness. Hubble sensitivity to ultraviolet light allowed researchers to probe the layers above the star's surface, which were partially heated by its turbulent convection cells. Further analysis of Hubble spectra, taken at various points throughout 2019 and 2020, helped measure the movement of material in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere. Specifically, the spectra focused on magnesium-2 lines, which indicate the star's atmospheric conditions. These observations revealed material moving at velocities of around 200,000 miles per hour from the star's surface into its outer atmosphere. This hot, dense material eventually extended thousands of miles from Betelgeuse and became the precursor to the dust cloud that caused the star's dimming. Dupree and her team estimated that about twice the usual amount of material was lost from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere over three months during this event. This mass loss was significant, especially considering that Betelgeuse, like all stars, continuously sheds material. However, the rate of mass loss during this period far exceeded its normal behavior. The size of this mass ejection and the resulting dimming sparked debates among astronomers about whether this event could be a precursor to a supernova explosion. The proximity of Betelgeuse, roughly 725 light-years from Earth, added to the intrigue. Any such explosion would be visible from Earth and provide an unprecedented opportunity to observe a supernova up close. But the question remains, what does this dimming event foretell for Betelgeuse's future? Is it a sign of an imminent supernova, or was it merely an unusual episode in the star's long and complex life? Several theories were proposed to explain this sudden change. One leading theory suggested it was a stage in the supernova process, a hypothesis bolstered by the widespread belief that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. Another popular theory implicated dust, possibly from the star itself, obscuring our view. Betelgeuse, like other red supergiants, is known to shed material, and it was speculated that this material could form a dust cloud thick enough to dim the star's light from our perspective. A third explanation considered changes in the star's photosphere, the visible surface layer, which could affect its apparent brightness. Detailed analysis using various observational techniques unraveled this mystery. Spectroscopic studies showed a drop in Betelgeuse's effective temperature, suggesting that the dimming could be due to a massive dark spot on the star's surface. This theory was supported by observations that Betelgeuse's temperature decreased by at least 170 Kelvin around the time of the dimming, pointing to significant changes on its surface. Ultimately, the key to understanding this peculiar phenomenon came from humanity's sentinel in space, the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble's observations revealed that the dimming of Betelgeuse was indeed caused by a massive ejection of hot material into space. This material formed a dust cloud that obscured part of the star's surface, effectively reducing the amount of light reaching us from Betelgeuse. The dust cloud was believed to have formed from extremely hot plasma, which erupted from a massive convection cell on the star's surface. The material then traveled through Betelgeuse's atmosphere to the cooler outer layers, where it cooled further and formed dust grains. These grains created a cloud that blocked light from about a quarter of the star's surface. Hubble's ultraviolet spectroscopic observations, which began in January 2019, were crucial in piecing together the timeline leading up to Betelgeuse's dimming. These observations captured signs of dense, heated material moving through the star's atmosphere in the months before the dimming. By December 2019, Several ground-based telescopes also observed the star dimming in brightness, particularly in its southern hemisphere. This material, initially more luminous than the star's normal brightness, eventually led to the formation of a shadowy cloud as it moved outward. Understanding how red supergiants like Betelgeuse shed mass at relatively consistent rates before the violent end of their lives suggests a more chaotic and unpredictable final stage for these stars. However, the scale of this mass ejection challenges our current understanding of stellar dynamics. 
the extraordinary dimming event of Betelgeuse has provided astronomers with an invaluable opportunity to study the life cycle of a red supergiant star in unprecedented detail. The insights gained from these observations could refine our understanding of the stages leading to a supernova explosion, a phenomenon of immense importance in the cosmos. As Betelgeuse continues its life cycle, it is clear that this red supergiant is nearing its inevitable fate. While the timing of a supernova explosion remains uncertain, the event is a scientific inevitability. When it occurs, the explosion will be one of the most spectacular cosmic events observable from Earth. It is expected to outshine the full moon for weeks, casting shadows at night and remaining visible during the day. Despite the immense scale of the explosion, Earth is not at risk from the radiation. At a distance of 725 light-years, the energy from a Betelgeuse supernova would be diffused enough to pose no threat to our planet. However, it would provide astronomers with a front-row seat to study the aftermath of a stellar explosion, a rare opportunity in the history of modern astronomy. The potential supernova of Betelgeuse could also serve as a cosmic laboratory for understanding how such explosions enrich the universe. Supernovae play a critical role in seeding galaxies with heavy elements, such as iron, gold, and uranium, which are crucial for the formation of planets and life itself. The remnants of Betelgeuse's explosion would eventually disperse across space, contributing to the birth of new stars and solar systems. But what makes Betelgeuse's eventual supernova even more intriguing is the timing. Astronomers predict that Betelgeuse could explode any time within the next 100,000 years, a blink of an eye on cosmic timescales. However, pinpointing the exact moment remains a monumental challenge due to the limitations of current technology and the vast timescales involved. In the meantime, astronomers continue to monitor Betelgeuse closely, using tools like the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, and ground-based observatories. These observations will help detect further changes in the star's brightness, temperature, and mass loss activity, offering clues about its future behavior. As the universe's clock ticks, Betelgeuse serves as a reminder of the transient nature of stars and the dynamic processes that shape the cosmos. For now, the red supergiant continues to shine in the Orion constellation, a fiery beacon in the night sky and a harbinger of the extraordinary cosmic events that lie ahead.